everybody, it's Sam at Mix Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how I've made this, I'm calling it a triple diamond gatefold card. So it's kind of developed from the double, or the no, the diamond fold card that I made a couple of years ago and I'll link that one up here. And I was just going through my old tutorials and I thought that would be a nice one to revisit and to change a little bit. So I've actually made it taller and then the reason I've called it a gatefold is because it opens up to then reveal the triple diamond fold out part. So you've got your diamond here in the center and then one here. You've got room on the back to be able to write your message and you could also cover the diamond inside there if you would rather. It's just got such a nice look about it and I think it's quite unexpected considering it folds up into this four by six size with the belly band and then when that person opens it up it becomes a really nice display piece. I've embossed all of the panels here and I'll show you what I've used and then I've done that really nice centre decoration with the flamingo and this one is going off to a crafty friend who actually won this in my live um, last Facebook live giveaway. So yeah let me show you how to make it. Okay so the supplies I'm using are from issue 205 from Simply Cards and Papercraft. You get this really nice 5x7 tropical embossing folder. The actual range is called Totally Tropical and then you get this stamp set. You also get the dies. I actually, I confess during the live I didn't use the dies, I just fussy cut it because I just found it was a bit quicker for the amount that I wanted. But you see there that really nice stamp set and I love the sentiments here. Today's card is going to be a birthday card just so that I've got that one in my stash and I'll probably just enjoy it and display it for a while anyway. But that's what you need if you do want to do the same one as me. I also pulled out these uh, dies which match perfectly and I've got the palm leaves here, I've got these other ones, I've got the hibiscus if I did decide to use that and these here. So I've gone ahead and I've cut all of that out. I've also gone ahead and I've distressed and embossed all of the pieces that I need. If you would like to see me do that then I'll share the Facebook live video and that's where I make the card that I just showed you but I do that over a two hour period because we're interacting, we're chatting and just enjoying crafting along together whereas obviously today I make it much much quicker and everything is you know ready to go. So these are all the elements which I'll show you and talk about in more detail when we get to it. And I've got a nice feather there as well, which I'm going to be using. So we won't worry about all of the mats and layers for the moment. So for the main card, you want a piece of 6 by 12. So I've done this template here because I've already gone ahead and scored everything that I need. So if I just bring it up a bit there, just so you can see. I'm just going to talk you through what you need to do. So this is your piece of 6 by 12. Okay, this is 216 GSM. You want something that's a bit more lighter weight. I always find when you're doing multiple folds and you're working with points and kind of angles and stuff, it's better to use something that's lighter weight. You can add your mats and layers, which will give it that strength later on. But I just think, you know, you're putting a lot of pressure on these areas here. If you've got something too thick, you might, you know, get a bit of cracking. So along the 12 inch side, you want to score at two, four, eight, and 10. So you can see there, I've got those four score lines with the lines going right the way down. And that's the four that I've just done here. Two, two, four, eight, and 10. Okay, and while we've got the scoreboard out, you'll want these pieces for the gatefold. Now these are optional because the card looks lovely just with this piece. And again, I'll show you that when we get to it. But if you do want to do the gatefold like myself and have the belly band, then you'll want two pieces of four and a quarter by six and along the four and a quarter side you just want to score at two and at two and a quarter. Fold and burnish so you'll have something like this and we're going to stick that behind the edges and this front piece here will become the gatefold. And then I've just also cut this piece here which was one by twelve from the same paper to make the belly band. Okay so now we just want to do some pencil marks. I've got my metal ruler and my stylus here which you're going to need because we need to do a few more score lines. But what you want to do first of all is we're going to work within this centre rectangle here. Okay and this is four by six. You want to mark halfway which is why I've put two inches because it's the halfway point between the four and the six. So I guess it's six inches you know if you were doing this in your scoreboard but I just want you to just come in two inches from here, see what I'm doing with my ruler, and just put a little pencil mark just there. Do the same along the bottom within that rectangle. So again, you'll see here, I've just marked it there with two inches. And then you also wanna mark three inches, which is halfway along this part here, because it's six inches high. So again, just come down here, put a little pencil mark at three, come along here, a little pencil mark at three. So you should have a pencil mark here, 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 and here. 
I've rubbed mine out because this is already done, but I'm just going to talk you through this. Now what you want to do is with your metal ruler and your stylus, make sure you've got a surface that you'll be able to score down on. And you're going to lay your ruler down so that it you're starting it from the top of your two inch score line here and you're going to score all the way down or line your ruler up so it runs all the way down to that middle section here so that two inch mark and what will happen is that you need to check is that when you lie the ruler down is that it runs right through that three inch marker so that pencil mark that you've put there that's where you want that to to line up so you'll get a nice straight line so again I just lay that down there so I've put my stylus at the top of this two inch line here put my ruler down I can see my ruler is going to go right through where I had my pencil mark and it joins right up with the bottom here which is the center of this four by six rectangle and then just score do a couple of score lines so you get a nice you know impression there with the stylus then you want to come from the center here right the way across to the bottom now of that two inch score line so then you've you've basically formed this cross okay so again lay my ruler down this time I put my stylus in the top of this four by six rectangle the ruler hits that cross over there where I put the little three inch marker and score right across and it will join up with the two inch score line there you then want to repeat that on this side and you'll see what I've got here so again now I'm coming from that two inch across down to the bottom of the 10 inch score line and then come up from the two inch up to the top of the 10 inch score line and it will give you that cross there again and I've already popped that in here you can just about see my cross is there and you can see that diamond in the center here we're going to create these diamonds because you'll see you've only got half a diamond here but the way we add the mats and layers will give us the you know the three all together there now what you want to do is fold your score lines so where you've got your crossed ones so your diagonal score lines you just want to fold them so they're both mountain folds and make sure you know that you're getting it right up to your your pencil mark you've got really nice points there because when you then go to do this one you want to make sure see I'm getting a really nice point at the top here that's what you want to make sure you get otherwise your mats and layers might be a little bit out so again just fold and this is why you'll notice you know that softer cardstock will really make this easier for you okay so now we've got all mountain folds on those everything else is going to become a valley fold so this one on the outside here you just want to fold like so okay and again do the same with this end here and then these ones are kind of wanting to already go into that valley fold so just make sure you push down the card stock so it meets that point perfectly and then just fold it like that and again again you want to make sure you get a really nice point there okay do the same with this side here okay so now we've got this which is very very similar to the 4x12 one that I have in the video that I've linked here now this could be the card finish we need to cut something here but in terms of not adding the gatefold pieces the card stands up you know very nicely on its own and it will fold flat once we cut a little bit more off so if you want to keep it like this and just add the mats and layers you can but what we want to do here so right now when we go to kind of fold it flat this all kind of hits each other and we need to cut that excess away so if you just kind of flatten out one side and fold one side down you can see what's overhanging here we need to cut this away so if you add a little pencil mark just there on these pieces just where they sit along the fold of this piece here okay if you then open up the whole thing and fold that like this it's easier to cut and you basically I'm going to come slightly down under that pencil mark and just cut up there and again make sure you get it right to the point and again on this side come just underneath that pencil mark and just cut up like so so now when I bring this back around it kind of pops back into its shape it will fold flat and now that's all 
completely disappeared. So again, if I bring that side down, you can see the difference where we've got that, these bits hanging out. Whereas now you can see they're completely hidden and it will allow you to fold it flat. So again, I'll show you on this side. So just open up the card, pop a little pencil mark there and there. Open it up and then make it so that's now a mountain fold, that score line. So you've got the two pieces like that. And again, come down under that pencil mark and up to the point there. Like so. And again, I can just pop it that way. So you can see we've got that shape and then you can fold the whole thing flat and it will fit that four by six shape. So again, if you want to keep it like this, that will go into an envelope. You might have to custom it, you know, there might be a quite a bit of bulk or you can make a little box, but you know, that's the card and that's just how it looks, but it's four inches high in that other tutorial. Okay, so if you do want to do the gatefold section, you've got these two pieces now. And what's gonna happen is you're gonna stick one behind this part here, and then when it all folds flat, you'll see it will cover and that, you know, is your opening. So I'm just going to flip this one over and I'm going to add glue all onto the back. I'm using the Kalau glue so this is now when you start to add that strength. So even if you're working with maybe you know maybe even 180 GSM if you've got a Kalau glue it will soon once you add the mats and layers by the time you've finished it will feel like you've used 300 GSM cardstock. So I'm just laying that one down making sure it lines up there with that fold. And we can open this up, just go in there, apply some pressure to make sure that's all stuck down. And then do the same with this side here. Okay, and then you can just test it all. And you go to fold it flat and that will all line up. And you've got that quarter inch now to allow for the folds inside and any other dimension you might add when you get to doing, you know, doing your decoration and stuff. But I'm really pleased with that. I'm just gonna, I think that's shifted a little bit. Let's just move that down a bit. Just gonna trim, I think that might have cut that just a little bit bigger. Okay, so that is the card base all finished. So now we can start with our mats and layers. So first of all, so I'm working with white mats here because I've got that lovely pink colour. It's funny because I did say I was going to use yellow when i done the live for the next one, but I do love this pink. So I've got here six pieces because you may want to decorate the back here. This is where I'll be writing my message. So these ones here, so six pieces that are one and three quarters by five and three quarters. And then you will want three pieces. These are cut from the, you know, the, the same size here. So three pieces of three and a half by five and a half. And what you want to do is along the, well, all four sides, you want to mark the halfway point. So the short side, you're going to put a little marker at one and three quarters. So here and here. Okay. And then along this side here, it will be two and three quarters. You can do this on all three pieces, like so. And then if you want to use your trimmer or draw a pencil line, you're going to you know, join up these lines because you now want to cut. I'm just using my long scissors here and just cut from pencil mark to pencil mark. And like I said, do that on all three pieces and keep all of these because these are going to be your mats for your sections here when we create the diamond shape on this side so don't throw any of them away and that's why I've got all of these because like I said they've come from these other two so you'll have these bits but one of them is going to go right in the middle here you can see how that sits right there the other two you actually want to cut in half again because you need it to cover this half of your diamond there so I'm going to grab these two Pop them in my trimmer. Okay, so now I've got all of these all ready and that one and these to stick down. But I'm also going to go through the pattern layers because I can stick everything then all together. So again, you're going to actually want one and a half by five and a half. 
And then again, you'll want three pieces. Now I actually cut these slightly smaller than you needed. I've cut mine to five and three quarter to four and three quarters. You actually want them to be five by three, which is what I've done on that card. Um, and then again, you're going to mark the halfway point. So if it's um, five, you're going to be marking along here at two and a half. But along here is the same, so mine's three. So you'll be marking at one and a half. So flip it over. And then that way, if you have already decorated it like me, you won't see anything. So one and a half, one and a half. And like I said, yours would be five. So you'll be marking it two and a half along here. So again, you'll do that on all three pieces and you'll cut the corners off of all of them to make your triangles. And then with two of them, you'll cut them in half, which I'll show you in a second. And one you will keep solid like I've got here. So that one I'm going to keep because that will end up going onto this one here, as you can see. So I'm going to have a slightly bigger border of white than you will have, but it's still okay because I'm going to be obviously decorating it. But you'll see here that I've also then got the other two where I've cut them in half. Okay, so that's what you need to do. But you'll see there, there's the three. So I'm now going to stick all this down, build up all of my mats and layers, and then I'll be back just to finish off the top and the belly band. Okay, so there is the card with all the mats and layers. You will see how I've positioned. So you lay these ones down first, your mats and layers, and then sit this one opposite, kind of hugging the, you know, the fold there. And then you just kind of piece these pieces around so it gives you that diamond. Now if you want to fill these ones, I did say during the knife, then you can. You're going to have to work out those measurements yourself because obviously they're a little bit different because we've cut into them. But I like having that pink there because I think it really makes that one pop. Um, but yeah, it looks really cool. And now when you fold it all together, it will fold into your nice little 4x6 size there. So now we just need to finish the decoration. So I have my glue gun on. And I've got this lovely big feather, which is what I laid down first of all, kind of like that. Now you, you want to make sure that you stay within, so if you fold the diamond down there, you want to make sure anything that you have overhanging hangs, overhangs into these corners here, but don't go past this corner here, otherwise you won't be able to close it. And the same, you don't want to go to the tops there, but I'm going to have that one kind of like so. And then I'm going to start layering up all of these lovely pieces. And I've just die cut and just distressed them. And yeah, it just looks really nice. Again, I coloured them using my Arteza coloured pencils. So I've got three of the flowers there. I'll probably have one on the front, or maybe one or two on the front. And um, those in, on the inside here and just start layering that up. Um, like so, let me open this one up here. That's how I'm going to do the belly band. I'm going to follow that the same, but this time it's going to say happy birthday there rather than hello. So I'm going to pop it on high speed and get that all finished. Okay, so I've finished the insides there, it looks really cool and I've just got to add that sentiment and then if you just fold it all flat, bring around the sides, okay, like so, and then if you grab your belly band, because then I can finish decorating this once I show you, just sit it down on top and just bring around the sides and just wrap it rather than actually you know score you don't need to if you just wrap that around and then I can just add you don't actually even need it that long so I'm actually just going to trim this off here and then lay that one down and again I'm going to trim because I'm going to be covering all this so I'm just now going to pop some hot glue, you don't have to use hot glue, it's just because I've got this at hand, and just lay that one down. And make sure you don't do it too tight, you want to be able to slide this, so just slide it like that just to test. But I'm happy with that now, so see it holds it all, you know, shut there. So now I can carry on and start sticking this down, just make sure you don't get any glue onto there, but I'm just going to copy that little one there. Okay, so 
there's my decoration finish so it says with love on your birthday so that's what will be displayed I think that looks really nice and then on the belly band I've added let's celebrate and it looks really nice as a little bracelet as well <laughs> but uh, yeah there's the card finish so it will all fold flat that folds around to protect it all like so just make sure those bits don't hang out and then you can just slide on your belly band I might need to shape it a little bit now actually because it's you know, just squeeze it a little bit along with the score you know where those score lines are there but there you have it I think that makes such a beautiful little gift as well and you could put a gift card in there you know and have it as your present and card in one but I think they look fantastic and um, yeah like I said this one is being sent away now and I know that that will get enjoyed so uh, yeah I thoroughly enjoyed making these I will probably keep it for a while and just admire it and just keep it displayed and then um, yeah no doubt one of my friends or somebody will buy it from me so that's today's card I hope you've enjoyed it all of the supplies that I've used today will be shared in the description box below and I'll be back very soon with another tutorial thanks for watching bye